Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Oh, hey Wes. How's it going? You look a little tired. Did you just crash land your parachute in the hamlet? That's rough. You must feel a little disoriented. You want to talk about it? Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Yeah, it's a little rough out here, but don't worry. I am very familiar with these parts. I will give you a little guide to getting started out here with your new life. And you might want to get a move on because in 60 days the apocalypse is coming and it's not exactly suited to mimes. So let's talk about survival and stopping the end of the world. Your first season is Temperate Season, which lasts roughly 11 days and is the least challenging of the three Hamlet seasons. I generally have two major goals for this early time. Get to the BFB nest and get to the Palace Hamlet. If I can do this by the start of Human Season, I will most likely feel prepared for the fog and the rain. Okay, day one, grab that machete and start collecting some grass and twigs. Flip those stones over for flint, rocks, maybe gold if you're lucky. You're gonna want a science machine and for that you're gonna need to chop trees. So for now focus on those pink rainforest trees. They drop eggs occasionally and you will literally need eggs to stop the apocalypse. Trust me, just, just don't eat them. If you walk by one of the iron hulks, you can grab a couple pieces of charcoal on the ground for a drying rack. If you find that orange biome with the gnats and the glowing birds, that's the iron biome. You can mine the gnat mounds for minerals and pick up anything you find lying around, including niter. Niter's gonna be rather important. If you see a peacock, try to corner them on a cliff and pluck them for four feathers. You literally need them to save the world. All right, cool, you got some gold, some logs, some rocks. Make a science machine. Craft a shovel, a backpack, a ball-peen hammer, some shears, and rope. If you have the extra logs, go ahead and make a log suit. Those shears are going to make collecting grass a lot faster. You can use one pair to shear tall grass, and that will net you a stack of grass in less than a minute. And the golden rule about asparagus, if you pick it from the ground, always cook it before eating it because it basically doubles the hunger value. Alright, seriously dude, how can a scrawny mime slam so much food? Like, literally, where does it go? Don't answer that. You're also going to want a drying rack and get a flytrap stock drying ASAP. The sooner you get that 30% movement speed boost from a stocking stick, the better off you're going to be. Go find a snap tooth flytrap. They're usually chilling out in those deep forests. And one is all you need. Go ahead and pop that stock right on the rack. And while you're waiting for that to dry, go get what you need for a bird whistle. At a pond, you can find a hippopotamus and gracefully murder one. Just one, because if you kill both of them, you destroy the herd. All right, cool, you got an antler. Now we need some platypine quills. Build a boat and go pick some lotus flowers, and a platypine should spawn quickly and go for the other flowers. You can always use one as bait by dropping it out of the water. The platypine will go for it and spend a lot more time eating it. And remember, you need three quills for the bird whistle, so you might have to kill two of them if you're not lucky with the first. Also, now that you have a ball peen hammer, be on the lookout for those pig statues with the gold teeth. They're gonna be a good source of gold early on, and we're gonna need lots of gold. Anyways, time to craft that bird whistle. Blowing on it will summon the BFB who will abduct you to her nest. Why is this important? Because on your way back, you will get some very important items. Your robin egg, some jewels, some minerals, the royal scepter, and light bulbs. So empty your inventory, bring a hammer and pickaxe, get away from your structures, and blow the whistle. Once you land in the nest, you're gonna wanna hammer the eggs for jewels and grab the scepter on the island. Then mine the sinkhole and make your way back through the cave. If you want, you can mine an unimportant pillar. You never know what'll drop. Maybe a blue gem? Awesome! We really need blue gems. And there are your light flowers. Excellent. All right, mine the exit, let's get out of here. Good haul, my dude. Now, where the hell are we? Is this really the same island? I guess so. Damn, that was crummy cave generation. But considering the loot, it's hard to complain. Not that you're able to. <laughs> Mime jokes are funny. Stocking stick is not ready yet. Okay, uh, go fight a royal guard, get a halberd. These boys are definitely worth learning to fight. They drop a good weapon and are a good source of large meat and pigskin. I see the bats have found you. Early waves aren't too bad and the pigskin drops are gonna be very useful, so go ahead and smack them down. Your reward for that fine battle is your first stocking stick. Moving around just got a lot easier. I'd also recommend chopping some cork trees and throwing down a few cork barrels. They're pretty cheap to craft, and are totally pog-proof. They are not fireproof though, so as long as you have the gold, time to set down a lightning rod. Speaking of gold, let's build that alchemy engine. And now you can craft that gas mask for your future apocalypse journey. You can get a cloth for the gas mask by hammering the parachute at your spawn. 
Also, be sure to prototype a lantern, a football helmet, and a handbat. You look ridiculous, but the brain case is protected. Ooh, I see you've ventured into the hamlet. You know there's a trick for getting the shopkeeps to leave their desk unattended so you can smash them for boards. You just have to offer them something that they don't want, but don't accidentally attack them. You can never go back there now. Awesome. Let's try that again. Give them something other than violence. There we go. Easy free boards. Now, let's trim some hedges while we're in town. There's no point coming here any earlier because nothing will be in need of trimming. Now that you've traded for some money, might want to stop by the mud spa and address that health problem. Also check the tool store while you're here. Sometimes they sell cloth, and if we get unlucky at the hat shop in the palace town, we might need to craft a pith hat. So better to check for those ingredients now. Alright, we got armor, we got a lantern, let's grab the scepter and go to the palace islands. The ruinous entrance will be in a deep forest, and adorned with the statue of a regal looking pig. Kill bats in the ruins if you spot any. If a battleless wing drops, you can use that to make a cowl, which is really good for humid season. Okay, here's a lucky thing. A suspicious crack in a room with unimportant pillars. You can mine the pillar to open up the crack, but it only works if it's in the same room. Alright, what do we got? Crap gems! We need blue gems. Whatever, just take them. Okay, the last thing we need in here is the jeweled truffle. It'll be in a stupid dangerous room, so just chisel it and get the hell out. Awesome, you're poisoned! Well, hopefully there's a wishing well down here. There's no wishing well down here. Great, just get out then. And bat wave time! That poison is probably going to be a problem, dude. Let's just do our business here and get back as fast as we can. Alright, you're at the palace. Give the queen your scepter and jeweled truffle. Let's take the key to the city and the executive hammer. Alright, so you're in town. There are some very good shops here. The oddity store sells gears. The oddity store is selling no gears. Okay. Over to the weapon store. You can buy some coconade here. It's pricey, but we can use it to open suspicious cracks, so I say go for it. Alright, moment of truth. The hat shop. No pith hat? Yikes. Try buying up some of those straw hats. Awesome, there you go. One stop shop for fog protection. But okay, this poison thing is becoming a problem. I did see another ruinous entrance near the deep forest on the island. You might want to pop down there and see if there's a wishing well. Okay, that's some luck. Throw some gold in that bad boy. 80% chance of 100 HP heal and curing your poison. While we're out here, let's check the forest for nettles. You're gonna want a couple stacks planted eventually. Hopefully we can get one to two harvests in during humid season. All right, back through the ruins. Try not to get stung this time. Cool, back on our first island. I see you found the spider monkeys. We're gonna want six silk eventually, two for an umbrella and four for a bird trap. Now let's plant the nettles. I like to do this close to my camp so that I can check on them regularly. Eventually we will want to situate them around a sprinkler which requires proximity to a pond, but since the rain will hydrate them regularly during humid season, for now just plant them anywhere convenient in the deep forest. Okay, we got one day left before the fog. Let's go fight some spider monkeys. They hit pretty hard and their punches have a considerable reach. You can usually sneak in one hit before dodging, and if they growl you can do two to three hits. They are a great source of spider drops, plus they drop two beard hair. If you don't want to fight them, you can always just chop the trees for silk and logs, and they will just populate other rainforest trees. Let's also steal some berry bushes from the cultivated biome. This will piss off the royal guards royally, so be ready to just take them out. Congratulations, you made it through the easiest season in Hamlet. But considering it's only day 12, I'd say you've done a respectable amount of work for a mime. Hamlet is a very unique DLC in that the season lengths are much shorter, which means you get a lot less time at the start to get ready for the more dangerous times. So don't worry too much about mapping out everything, and if you camp near your spawn, you are generally in the center of things, so it's usually a good bet. Anyways, next time we will talk about human season, what you need to survive it, and how to prepare for lush season. That's it for now, hope you found this information useful, and I will see you next time. Bye bye!